is my line sister and my friend that and my other friend too oh shit and they're gonna fin it wow okay i was at that parade but i thought originally i thought i took that picture but i had taken a similar picture so i was about to be like <laughs> netflix running my money but that's not the case so they like it continue hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl haita okay i'm glad you guys are back so let's just jump straight in so you know you obviously have a reason for being here you saw the title you said okay let me see what this is about so this video is going to be a reaction to rachel dolezal's rachel divide it's on netflix it's a basically a documentary when i first saw the trailer i was like they real life gave this girl a netflix special what is going on but of course you know i had to watch it and just put something out there um for the new watchers and everything like that rachel dozel was my professor when i was an undergrad so i found out basically i found out when she was white when everybody else found out um i have a whole ass video on that so i will link it below so you can click that and watch that maybe you want to watch that first and then watch this so you can get a background because some of my commentary might be a little bit personal because i knew her so I'm going to do a reaction video. I have not seen this documentary. I've been waiting until I had time so I can watch it. So if I'm looking over here, it's because I hooked up my laptop to my TV. So I'm going to be looking this way. So just letting you know. So let's start it. I guess um, I know who I am and my kids know who I am. And pretty much I don't think anybody else really knows who I am. <laughs> Yo, this... This is this is the um this is what I was talking about. This is the interview that made it like ten times worse than my other video that I was talking about. Okay, I just have to say that. <laughs> I don't I don't understand the question. Are your parents? And then she just are walked off. Sorry, sorry. It all came crashing down for Rachel Dolezal is your birth daughter? That's yes. correct. You doubt whether they're your parents? I haven't had a DNA test. Ha! I point out an African American man and say that is my father. Yo, see, this is the guy she brought to an event at Eastern. It was like, this is my dad. I wasn't at that event, but other people were like, yeah, she brought Rachel. Rachel brought her dad um to the event. So interesting. What? Good old Spokane, Washington. This is so weird seeing her on this. Good morning. Oh, Franklin. Wow, he's so big now. Wow. Okay, so where do you want me to park is what I'm asking. You park in where you want. I just want to make sure that Franklin can find me when he comes out. Right, well, your son ain't lost. He just moved from out in front of my shop. Now. <sighs> Stressful. Damn. All my mom did was say that she was black and people start losing their minds. She's done a lot for the community. People don't bother to recognize that. All they... This is very true. You know, all they say is that she's a liar. But all that stuff she's done is nothing compared to all this. I can hear her crying in her sleep when I'm a sibling, my future sibling. Damn, bird. We've had NAAC pre presidents long before Rachel came here who were darker complected and they didn't receive that much hate mail. So how is this woman receiving this much hate mail? That is what got me. I said, you know what? Nobody has that much bad luck. This community is blessed. We won't Ooh, she destroyed boy, something girl. that she now pissed. we have to rebuild if we can. She created a destruction for any uh, black woman after Latoya. that. Latoya, Because Racket. she's worked in the Africana department um, and she was right next to her office. 
I think it was right next to I think she ended up taking Rachel's old office but oh girl she sound bad the city of Spokane it's very much a not diverse place and there's a he is not lying that city white as fuck been a desire here to make the story of our region because you are pregnant congratulations yeah. congratulations so i guess the baby black huh hey! <laughs> yo that joke had me weak when i heard it the first time i'm still laughing now yo, it's kind of fucked up okay <laughs> i like your style i love, I love your hair, hair. but i have struggled as a black female Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that you share the struggle of being a black female. I have earned the right to call myself a black woman. So I take issue with you calling yourself an African-American female without having to endure the initiation process of being one. Oh, um, explain what that initiation process would be. This did not come to play. She did it. Uh, discrimination in stores, discrimination in school, discrimination among black people and how they feel about one color versus another, job discrimination, racial profiling, being pulled over by the police. That is my experience. Self-hatred towards your hair, eyes, skin, nose, lip size, butt size, body shape. Not being the picture of beauty in American society. I understand, but I have an entire life story that has led up to this point. And I apologize if there's anything I've done with my life choices that have caused offense. But I can't cease to exist. I can't just go away. I can't stop being. I'm still here because I do care. You could be doing so much more with all your knowledge and your passion if you were coming from an authentic place. Literally what I said in my video, <clears throat> she could have did everything she has done in Spokane as a white woman. Nobody would have been like, nah, what are you doing? Like, we, people would have respected her so much more. And I feel like she would have gotten a little bit far. She could have used her privilege because she's white supremacy, yada, yada. You're not being able to accomplish what you could accomplish if you were being really out there. crimes I don't know if all of it like every single one was real but I know that the ones that I was definitely affected by were definitely real but I think every what's crazy is I remember when all of this stuff happened with the death threats and all that stuff she would come into class and say um i had a presentation that one day and she was saying like yeah franklin is so scared like i he can't sleep because of there was like people were like le leaving people were leaving nooses at her house and she said that people were at her house she saw footsteps and that she had to give franklin um like like let's say like night cool or something something that makes you sleep so he could go to sleep because he was so afraid now if she really made all this stuff up i cannot confirm if she did if she didn't but if she really made all this stuff up that's fucked up because like i said before her son has to live with all the decisions she has made the time when she would speak publicly she would speak only of hardship and then I would go back and I think about all the times that I felt like she was wanting up me or other people with her plight. And how every single time she talks about anything that has to do with her blackness, it's always about her struggles. And that seemed to be her way of reminding people that she's black. This and is true. her son, the fact that her sons would always have issues in schools is what gave her a struggle. If you were to ever really be around her, she would always start off with my black son. That's so true. Hi. What are we doing for you today? So I'm doing a name change. All right. Oh. This is this is what this is what.
when she changed her name to like three different African names. Are you gonna pronounce your first name? Nkechi. Nkechi. Nkechi now. Hey! And middle, middle name? Amari. And last Amari. name? Diallo. Right. Yes. D I A O O. Two L's. She just picked three names from different countries and put it together. Deco. So if you take a look here at the monitor, mm -hmm. it's going to pop up your new name. Okay. So top name is who you came in as, second name is who you're leaving as. Right, congratulations. Hopefully this is a good thing for you. Yeah. All right. That's as painless as that. Wait for the flash. Yeah. And done. All right. Here you go. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Take care. All right. You too. And you start. Okay. So I just finished watching her documentary. Where do I begin? I guess it was interesting to see um, the behind the scenes of like what she was going through after the story broke and after, um, yeah, because this has, it's been, they this documentary has been done over a two year span. Sis. Okay. Now, she chose this life. She chose to identify as black. She was fully aware of what could happen if she was exposed. Do I feel bad for her? <sighs> Who I really sympathize with is her kids because they have to follow, this is gonna follow them for the rest of their life. Even if they wanna disassociate with her, it's gonna be there no matter what. So that's who I really feel sorry for. She knew what she was getting herself into. Granted, should she be treated in a sense where she cannot get a job? She can't put food on the table? No, because I feel like in that sense, her kids are suffering. She should not be treated like that. She did not hurt anyone physically. She did lie. I'm not going to, don't be coming for me in the comments talking about, oh, yeah, yeah, please. She did lie. I know that. That definitely wasn't okay. Um... She really going strong. She, she is she is pushing through as a black woman. She's not letting that go. Um, and I, I don't personally see her letting that go anytime soon. She's been rocking with this forever. She's been exposed and she's still rocking with it. I have mixed feelings about it. I I have really mixed feelings. I suck that like the initiatives or everything she's doing in the community, like accountability of the police and stuff like that, like I don't know if it's still going on in Spokane, but from the documentary, it seems like it was dropped, and so there's no one really on that. Um, but I do, I do understand what people like what the black women in the documentary were saying, whereas she was able to, um, she was kind of put in the spotlight because she was light skinned um, and what Latoya Brackett said about how she would use her black sons as, as a way of having experience. In the black community of whatever has happened to her as a tool uh that's definitely true because she always used to say that shit all the time yeah black women like because she was light-skinned she got all this attention that darker skinned african-american women wouldn't get even though they were doing the same work so that's very problematic um and another thing like she has people who who are mixed people who can pass as white are now being questioned about their race and just another thing comments in my video talking about well how did you not know she was what uh, y'all obviously didn't watch the end y'all didn't watch the whole video i literally said that she tanned her skin she wore fucking wigs like she was in blackface that's literally what it was um she did all of that stuff to make to make her look black and so what's crazy is people are like how did you not know do you guys not you you telling me you have never ran into a person who looks so white and then you find out they're half something half mixed again half some but they literally pass this way that's literally what i thought the case was i mean i don't know what's next for her i i don't know what's next for her i mean that's just kind of like my quick two cents my reaction that was my first time watching it so We'll see what she has 
left to do but if you could like comment subscribe let me know in the comment section what you thought of her documentary um and yeah i'll see you guys another day bye